So this time we're going to take a look at how to use Desmos, the online graphing calculator, to do some basic statistical calculations uh, just like I showed you uh, in the previous video in Excel. So I took that same Derek Jeter number of hits data and I've actually entered it into Desmos already just to save some time. But just to show you how I would have done this, uh, we just click into one of these new cells here, hit the little plus sign, say we want to insert a table. Now, since I only have uh, one variable data here, not two variable data, I don't really need this Y2 column at all. I need to work with the X2 column. And by the way, the only reason these are called X2 and Y2 is because I have another table up above that's called X1 and Y1. It just doesn't reuse the same variable name. And I want to delete these values that are in there already. And I would just go ahead and start typing in whatever numbers I needed to type in. Uh, whatever my data set was. So I go down through and I enter all those values and that's what I've done here. You can see I've got the uh, the values all entered and, and ready to go. So again I'm going to click in the next cell and I want to use one of the functions. So over on the bottom right here I'm going to click on the functions button and I've got trigonometric functions, statistical functions, and some miscellaneous stuff. Well if you just take a look around here you can uh, see that we're going to find the things we need. We could add them all together. Uh, this length function is not something we're interested in right now. The mean is what we're interested in. The median, I could use min and max to find the range. Here's my population standard deviation, which is typically not what we're going to use unless we're entering every value from an entire from a population. But usually what we're dealing with is a sample standard deviation, which is this guy right here. Uh, the quantile is kind of like a quartile, but again, it uses the same method as Excel. It uses the percentile method, so we're not really interested in that right now either. Uh, some of these other functions we'll get to later on in the course. But let's go ahead and find the mean. I'm just going to type in mean, and I'm going to say x1. Just type x followed by 1, and you can see it's already calculated the mean. If I wanted to find the median, I'll just type median. Notice you don't need to type the equal sign here like we did in Excel. And I just simply type in X followed by a 1, and it figures out that I mean X1. So when I do type the equal sign, uh, Desmos actually says, you know, I don't really understand that. So that's your indication that we don't actually need the media or the equal sign to, to type these uh, functions. If I wanted to find the range, I could do max X1 minus min X1, and there we go. There's my range. So real quick, using some of these other functions in Desmos, hope that helps.